हेलो एवरीवन आई अनु अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ आईटी डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू ऑल बिहाफ ऑफ बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय लेक्चर ऑन इनहेरिटेंस टॉपिक सो व्हेन वी यूज प्रोग्रामिंग आई मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट आर अराइजेस इन आवर माइंड रिगार्डिंग टू इनहेरिटेंस सो आई वुड लाइक टू आंसर ऑल दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट इज इनहेरिटेंस वाई वी यूज इनहेरिटेंस वॉट आर द टाइप ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन उप्स प्रोग्रामिंग and what are the advantages of inheritance why we use inheritance in ups concept so basically i uh, what is inheritance so inheritance uh, is a very important concept of object oriented programming it allow us to define one class in terms of another class while it is easy to create and it is easy to create and maintain it is easy to create and maintain an application so inheritance allow in inheritance we use two classes where one class where one class inherit all the data members and functions of another class existing existing class is called base class parent class or super class and the another class which inherit all the data members and function of other class is called drive class child class or sub classes so in our so basically what are the working of inheritance inheritance provides the reusability of the code without changes in another class so and we can add also some data members and function to drive class which are which its own class so in inheritance one base one class inherits may uh, one class inherit more than one classes which is called base class that means so one drive class inherit more inherit all the data member and functions of more than one classes using access specifier modes so basic what is access specifier access specifiers are provide the visibility of the data members and functions throughout the programs so uh, in ups we use three types of access specifier which is public protected and private if we want to use all the data members and functions in same class then we use all three types of visibility mode but if in case of inheritance we can only two types of mode are used that is public and protected because private are not private members are not inherited by the other class and the if we want to use data member and functions uh, outside the class then we can use only public mode protected and private are not allowed here so these three type of access specifier we which we use in in inheritance so here syntax of inheritance is first we write class then we write class drive class name colon operator are used in this inheritance then access specifier which we want public private or protected any mode we can use for inheritance public private or protected and then we write base class name so is this is the basic syntax of inheritance we, using this syntax we can inherit one class to another class so next our, our next topic is what uh, type of inheritance so in ups five type of inheritance are used in programming which one is single inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance multi level inheritance and hybrid inheritance so one by one we can explain this so uh, type of inheritance are first one is single inheritance single inheritance is the simplest form of inheritance where one drive class inheritance only single one base class so this inheritance is very simple and the syntax of this inheritance is class where drive class name colon and then visibility mode is our public so we can all the we can use all the data members and functions of class a in class b without modifying without changes and this is the base class name so this is the basic syntax of single inheritance so in single inheritance one base class and one drive class are working in working the next topic is multiple inheritance in multiple inheritance only one drive class is inherited by multiple base classes so uh, in real world entity their parent child relationship are not exist because of one child cannot have multiple parents so and the basic syntax of multiple inheritance are is this class c that is drive class colon is inherited by a and b so public a we use comma and then public b and at last we use semicolon to terminate this statement 
So this is the basic syntax of multiple inheritance where one drive class inherits from multiple base classes. Third one inheritance is hierarchical inheritance where more than one drive class inherits from only one base class. That means multiple drive classes inherit all the data members and functions of only one base class. And the basic syntax of hierarchical inheritance is this for class B, class B colon public A. That means B inherit all the properties of class A. It, as well as class A also inherit the, all the properties of A class and class D also inherits all the properties of A class. So these are the syntax for class B, class C and class D. They all are inherited by the A class. So in hierarchical inheritance, multiple drive classes, only one single base class is in working. And the next level is multi-level inheritance. In multiple multi-level inheritance, one class behaves sometimes like as a base class and sometimes behaves like a drive class. Like this, here B class working as a drive class for A and behaves as a B class B uh, behave as a base class for C. Because of C inherit all the properties of B class and B inherit all the properties of A class. So automatically C inherit all the properties of A class. So it is a very important concept of inheritance which is multiple inheritance and the basic syntax of multi-level inheritance is this. For B class, class B inherit all the properties of A class so we can write here class B colon visibility mode and then base class name. And if you want to write to for syntax of C class, then we can write here class C colon public B. But in this inheritance, C inherit all the properties of as well as B and as well as of A. So these, uh, this is a multi-level inheritance. First inheritance is hybrid inheritance. It, it is a combination of multi-level and multiple inheritance. So it provides the, it provides the functionality of both inheritance. And in this inheritance, uh, in, so basically hybrid inheritance is the form of one or more inheritance uh, in like this where B inherit all the properties of A class, D inherit all the properties of B class as well as C class. So here we can see that it is a multi-level inheritance but in this case it is a multiple inheritance. So basic uh, syntax of this inheritance is class B inherit all the properties. Uh, property of public A. So we can write here class B colon public A. And in case of class C, we can write class C colon public A because uh, D inherit all the properties of B and C class. So we can write here public B comma public C. So we can see that D inherit all the properties of B class but B inherit all the properties of A class. So D inherit all the data member and functions of class A, class B as well as class C. So this is one, more, one of the most important concept of inheritance. So these are the five type of inheritance which, we can, uh, which are used in object oriented programming. So our next topic is what are the advantages of inheritance. So the first advantages of inheritance is reusability of the code because we can uh, we can use one class function to another class without changes and without modifying it. So it uh, it it provides a concept of reusability and it reduces the memory space. So this is the very biggest advantages of inheritance. And the next advantages of inheritance is data hiding because of if base class hide our data members then it can use access, uh, private access specifier mode so it provides data hiding concept and the next uh, important advantage is, is overriding because of we can use multi same function name with multiple classes in in, in this type in, in by using inheritance and it provides a flexible programming and it follows the transitive nature uh, transitive nature because of one class behave like sometimes as a base class and sometimes as a drive class so these are the five advantages which we provide uh, which we get using inheritance in object oriented programming and the disadvantages of inheritance is it is in this uh, in inheritance uh, two classes are tightly coupled because because of inheritance so if we changes uh, uh, if we want to change in base class uh, then this cha these changes are affect as well as drive class because of drive class inherit all the properties of base class so this is the very biggest disadvantages of inheritance and it is uh, time consuming process so this is also one disadvantages of inheritance 
so basically we have learned what is inheritance what are the type of inheritance why we use inheritance what are the advantages and disadvantages of inheritance in ups programming language so thank you for listening me and for further informi further information you can visit www.gurukpo.com